it has been 16 days in the house that has been without a speaker. <clears throat> and Jim Jordan is the latest Republican who just cannot get enough votes to grab the gravel. Or the gavel. <laughs> or the gravel. Or the gravel. He's down there the trying gravel, to grab the gravel. He's, he's clutching. <laughs> His colleagues are ringing alarm bells, and some Republicans are actually getting death threats for not falling in line. And Democrats like Nancy Pelosi are calling it a big win. Let her tell you why. Take a look. It was a triumph for democracy in our country that an insurrection was, was rejected uh, by the Republicans again as their candidate for speaker. My wife's been getting anonymous texts and anonymous phone calls trying to compel her to force me to change my vote. Uh, trying to bully my wife is, is wrong. I'm getting calls from my constituents and saying, what the hell's going on with you Republicans? Why can't you, why can't you just seem to agree on something? It just seems like we are, uh, I, I'm gonna say, I don't want to say lost, but it, it, we're, we're dysfunctional right now. Well, Jordan condemned any threats and said they have to stop. Jim. <laughs> I mean, we're, you know, you, you didn't say much about the threats that folks were getting from January 6th. So it's, you know, I appreciate you saying they have to stop, but uh, what, are, are Republicans really willing to lose control over this, control of the house? Well, that's the million dollar question. So we've heard of girl math, we've heard of boy math, then there's Congress math. You need 217 <laughs> votes to become Speaker of the House. No one has that. Jim Jordan will likely lose even more votes on the floor today, but you could just keep floating new names of Republicans. The votes are not there. The right flank takes too many to get somebody across. The moderates take if you put up someone too conservative. There is no solution here. I think the best case scenario would be that someone like Patrick McHenry, who's the speaker pro temp, just stays in a caretaker role. Mm -hmm. Listen, he voted to certify the election. Mm -hmm. That's a win for me. That's more than you can say for a lot of people. He's a legislator. He's a policy wonk. He's not some fixture of right-wing media who's like all about him and self-promotion, mm -hmm. he'd keep the government funded, he'd get aid to Israel and Ukraine, and to me, those are the most important things. But one thing I do want to say on your question is these threats that members are getting, some are actual death threats that have been yeah. investigated by Capitol yeah. Police, and that has to be condemned. Others are, you're going to lose your seat. Well, 18 <coughs> Republicans won in districts that Joe Biden carried. If, you pri if Republicans primary those members with somebody right-wing, those seats will go to Democrats. We'll Republicans will lose the House majority. It is nonsensical what the House is doing. They cannot get their act in order. And frankly, we're going to deserve it if we lose next cycle. So they're being self-destructive. It's incredibly yeah. self-destructive. It's so chaotic. I yeah. mean, karma doesn't lose anyone's address. And I'm kind of enjoying <laughs> it in a sense because um, I've had my own personal interaction with Jim Jordan where he terrorized me. Really? Was, yeah, when I was testified in front of Congress. Oh, he yeah. was like spitting. He was yelling at me so much that he started spitting. Um, and I, I, I think when you have someone, like Nancy Pelosi said, who supported an insurrection, who voted uh, not to certify the election, mm -hmm. who would then be second in command to the presidency. Rachel Maddow said that yesterday, and mm -hmm. it just, mm -hmm. I think it took, it, we gasped. Well, that's basic civics. You know, yeah. it's, Speaker of the House. Exactly. Would be but nice I don't think a lot of Americans... civics. Yeah, a lot of Americans don't. aren't taught that. And yeah. so when she said that, I, I think the thought of a person like that being able to non-certify an election <laughs> yeah. is really problematic. I mean... I, What's going on in this country? It's some, it's really well. They need to pass a resolution to give him temporary uh, re um, status to pass legislation because we're talking about what's going How on in the world right McHenry. now. Yeah. McHenry, right now they can do it for a period of time, or even better yet, would be to select him because. Mm -hmm. The bar is pretty low with Jim Jordan, but certifying an election, as you mentioned, Alyssa, but also he doesn't want the job, which makes me want he him more. He doesn't even want Because it. we have a power-hungry group of D.C. people, mm -hmm. and I want to see the guy that says, I'm here to do business, I don't want the job, I actually want him. But right now, Republicans are actually peeling away votes from Jim Jordan to slowly show. So they've planned it and they drew straws on who the people that are anti-Jordan. So they slowly, he's gonna keep getting less and less votes. It's like a slow, you know, but no bill has ever passed that Jim Jordan's passed in 17 years. He's proposed bills and nothing's passed. Why would you think this is the guy to lead? He's a figurehead. Well, he, um, I don't think that they think he's the guy to lead. I don't think they ever no. thought he was the guy to no. lead. He thought he was the guy to lead. Chaos, for some reason, and maybe he was delusional too. Maybe that's their, 
Maybe it's in the cologne. Something's <laughs> happened. But like, you know, can, can, I, be oh, no, you know, can I show a tape of um, President Biden's response to Jim Jordan? Watch. Yeah. Do you have a view of Jim Jordan's current predicament? You know, I'm unable to secure the speakership. I ache for him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero. None. <laughs> Not only does the guy go into go right into a war zone, you know, he, he also uh, is he did something, some kind of a um, deal with Egypt. Yes, he so did. that they're now sending help into yeah. Gaza, the aid, yeah. Yeah. aid into Gaza that. because of Joe Biden did that. Yes, aid. and right. also they're sending um, trucks and things to help. So he did that. The, this is our president. He also is capable of sarcasm. And you're going to tell me he's too old? No. <laughs> <laughs> But Jim Jordan's gonna keep trying. He's gonna keep trying. Well, he's trying making Kevin McCarthy in. look like Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which, if you do your homework, that's not as great either.